Hello and welcome to Vector Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create this interesting effect having one image in several frames. We are going to use object styles, an interesting option called paste into, and also a couple of effects to achieve this. So let's start from scratch and I'm going to delete all these images. And first of all, I go to bridge. So I just switch to bridge and uh, from one of my photographs, I'm going to select this one, drag and drop it into InDesign and then click and drag to create a frame. If I want to center it on the page, I can do that also easily. I can go to window, object and layout, align. And then in the align panel, I can decide what to align to. And if I choose align to page, then I can click on align horizontal centers and also the align vertical centers. So now it's definitely in the center of the page. I can put the align panel here on the right. And now what we need to do is to use the rectangle frame tool. The F is the keyboard shortcut. And with this, I am going to create a couple of frames and these are going to be the areas which I would like to highlight. So definitely the three characters on this photograph, I would like to highlight. And then just to connect these parts of the image, I am going to create another couple of frames, something like this and maybe another one here. Okay, so I have now six frames but at the moment they are just simply sitting on top of the image without having any content in them. So what I need to do is uh, make it a little bit more interesting before I paste the images into them by rotating them. The keyboard shortcut for rotation is R, that's easy to remember, and you can choose what should be the center of rotation. At the moment I have the top left corner set as the center of rotation, but here in this little reference point icon, I can set it to the center of the frame. And then if I click on the frame, I can rotate it around easily. If I hold down command and click on another frame, I can still have the rotate tool selected, but now I have another frame selected. So I can rotate this again a little bit around just to give it a little bit of visual interest and make it a little bit more random, the frames. So I'm doing the same thing, holding down command or control on PC to switch between the frames and just rotate them around slightly. So now I have all frames rotated. I can now select the main image in the background and then I go to edit menu and choose cut. So just simply cut it out and then I select the first frame and go to edit and choose paste into. The keyboard shortcut for this is Command Option V or Control Alt V on PC. So now, as you can see, I have the image in the same position, but now it's inside this rotated little frame. So if I select another one and I use the same keyboard shortcut and same uh, feature, as you can see, the images will continue or the same image uh, will continue inside different frames. And I just repeat the same step a couple of times. Now, the only problem with this, it looks already interesting, but still we need to somehow visually divide these images, make them look like real postcards or frames. And for that, I'm going to use effects. So I am going to select this one here on the left. And first of all, I add a white frame onto it, a white stroke. And uh, I am going to also add the drop shadow. Before I do anything else, I am going to customize this drop shadow. So I go to the effects options, click on drop shadow, and I reduce the distance to zero and increase the size to probably three millimeters. And I click on OK. And now I am going to increase the stroke size as well, probably to four points. If I press W, we can see uh, the preview mode. And yeah, I like this effect. So I would like to save it as an object style. 
you will see why is it useful to use it as an object style instead of just simply uh, set it to all the images at the same time so I go to object styles and I click on create new and I can call this object style uh, white frame uh, with drop shadow so I saved it as an object style and now if I select all the others here I can click on the same style and as you can see it's already applied to all the selected images now let's have a look at uh, the layers panel because that's another important part of this um, tutorial is that you can use the layers panel to quickly shift around uh, images and change their order so this image I would like to definitely have on top so I'm going to drag and drop it here on the top of the layer structure now I have a look at the image and uh, I think one of these images might go behind as well maybe I will move this one behind the other images so I just drag and drop it behind if I change my mind I can always move it back so I can always move it a little bit up or maybe even further up and then just leave it there now what happens if I want to move these frames around so for example if I want to move this around a bit and I decide to move it to the right I can do that but the image itself will move with the frame so if I move the frame the image will move with it so what can we do very simple because InDesign still have the image selected the original image I can always press command alt V and then it will be replaced with the original image maybe this is a little bit too high so I just move it down and press command alt V again to replace the image the reason why we saved an object style is because if I go back to the object style and I double click on white frame with drop shadow I can always make changes to any of these features like for example the stroke size and if I increase it and I have the preview on it will increase on all of the frames at the same time so they are linked together and that's a very useful feature as well and that's all about I wanted to show you in this tutorial I hope you find it useful and thanks a lot for your attention see you next time